Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudan Shaktivel and in this video we're going to see about check style. So you might have a doubt or somebody have already used about, uh, heard about check style might not have used it. For example, check style is a code formatting and coding standard tool, right? It can help you to define the standards for your team, right? Different people follow different coding standards. They use different styles to uh, or spaces to, to arrange their code. But in a team, that doesn't go well, right? So, so it is important that we have one single standard followed across the team. In test automation, formatting is, is least considered or people are not normally using it. So I thought I will make a video about this so that you know you can incorporate, incorporate this in your team. It's very simple. So it, it won't be a lot of uh, efforts. So uh, please continue watching this video so you can know how we can do this. So there are two different coding standards, uh, one coming from the Sun coding standards, one from the Google coding standards. Check style can help you to use any of these two, or you can customize. Uh, so this two rule sets comes with a, some hundreds or 200 set of rules, right? So, so you have to follow them. For example, following all of them might not be really good idea because sometimes it will be too expensive and it might take a lot of time to fix them. So you can also have your custom rule set defined in the check style.xml and you can also suppress some of the warnings that is caused by uh, check style.xml using suppress and xml, right? Um, you can also have Maven plugin to, to use this in your build. Uh, let's say you use GitHub Actions, uh, whenever you write PR, you wanna make sure that people have formatted the code before pushing to main. So in those cases, you can use Checkstyle Maven plugin um, to help you do that. So we will also see how to use Checkstyle as a build check at the end. Also, uh, let's say if you run this on an existing project, this might throw you thousands and thousands of errors. Fixing them manually might not be a good idea. So we will use an editor config file uh, to, to, to do the uh, formatting for you automatically instead of you putting any efforts to doing that. Again, guys, if you don't understand any of this, that's fine. We are going to see about that in detail in a few minutes. So, so keep watching. So let me go back uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, open the check style uh, website. You can have all this information here. I picked most of the information from this website. You can also have a look at this. Um, check style is again a development tool to help programmers write Java code that have the highest to the coding standards. That's very important, right? Um, so again, you can have two different sets. Like I mentioned, you can also customize based on your needs. It has a Maven plugin, Gradle plugin, but you can use any of that, right? So you can also see the compatible versions for each of the check style. Uh, I'm using Java 11, so my check style version will be 10.x, right? Let's go to the IntelliJ now. So this is an existing project that I have created to automate web, mobile, and AP testing in one framework. But this wasn't formatted. Let's say somebody wants to reuse this in their team, right? They, they don't know, they are, maybe they might not be comfortable with my coding style uh, because my formatting style may be different from them. So it is very important for me to format this code and push it. So to, in order to do that, first you can go here and uh, to the pom.xml and add the plugin called as Maven check style plugin. So you can add the version. And then if you want to also have console output, then you can also get it, right? So by default, the check style plugin will give you results in terms of XML file. XML files are pretty hard to read or you know you have to put some efforts to open the target folder. Being a lazy guy, I like to get the console output, right? And also by default, this analysis will be only performed on SRC main Java and not on the SRC test Java. So I also want to include the test source folder uh, because in test automation, we use that pretty a lot. So, so I want to also include this. So and then when there is a failure or violation, error or a violation, I want to fail the build. The Maven build should fail and that so that I can use this as a build check. So I am adding these options. Again, I don't want entire rule set from Sun or Google standards. I want to define my own standards. So I have defined them in the checkstyle.xml. There are a lot of videos available on how to create them. But in my opinion, you can straight forward, you know, use this coding standard, right? Uh, I will push this to GitHub so, and leave the link in the description so you can find this textile.xml and the suppression.xml. For example, let's say this textile.xml has a first rule uh, that says tab width should be two. 
but by default the tab with in, in your id is showing four spaces so that you can also see here there is four spaces here there is also four spaces here but according to coding standard it should be two so we are defining that here right and then the package name should all be lower cases or zero to nine should not have a upper cases so this is this is example of rule sets you can have uh, if you if you have redundant imports uh, let's say you are you have unused imports you are using uh, static imports but you are not defining the method or variable name rather you are using star then it will highlight okay uh, and then there are a lot of uh, spaces be before uh, white spaces after left curly braces you want to have space before the left curly so all these rules you can define and also uh, one simple rule is uh, line length can be 136 right if it is exceeding 136 uh, we might not be able to read them properly so so we are defining the maximum so you can change this according to your needs right and apart from that let's say i have an existing project and i already have a lot of imports static imports fixing them it would take a lot of time so in those cases let's say uh, you can suppress certain warnings for example i suppress all this st avoid static uh, star imports warnings uh, only in these files. You can also define the files where you want to suppress them, right? Let's say all this coding style, uh, formats requires you to create Java docs. But let's say you already have a project, you want to adapt check style, uh, creating a Java doc <laughs> for all of them would take a year. So don't, don't do it. I don't want to do that. So I want to surprise, suppress this Java doc style check uh, uh, rule, right? You can also do that. And then uh, you can customize, let's say the line length should be 136. But I don't want that to uh, rule to be applied on this. Okay, when, whenever you find some uh, violation on these files, specifically SRT test resources, don't do that, right? I don't want to want or fail my bid. So that's simple as it. So this is just an example of how you want to do this. It's not a mandatory thing that you have to use that, right? So good. Now, if I go to uh, Maven, since I added the plugin uh, to the build, okay, if you notice, I have added this to the build uh, tag, not on the reporting tag. I can use this to run uh, the build. So basically, it will run maven check style colon check. That's the command it will execute. So just I'm using the ID. If you notice, there are 1055 errors and fixing them manually would take me two years. Uh, so I cannot do that. So if you notice the intentation level, it is complained about uh, different stuff, right? So um, it's saying intentation level, a lot of so you are using star import should be avoided. So there is it's 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 take it's complaining about a lot of things. <laughs> Fixing them manually is not possible. So uh, we can do two things. One, we can configure our IDE to use this, right? Let's go here uh, to the IntelliJ uh, preferences or settings uh, and go to editor, right? And if you go to here to the code style, you have an option, right? So this is the scheme by default. I think it it will have default in your case. Uh, you can also change this to custom or check style, whatever. So what you can do is you can ask your IDE to format based upon a check style rule set. You can go here, you can import scheme, and then you can click on check style configuration and choose the check style.xml. Once you choose that, so you can you can customize this uh, to use the check style code formatting. Okay, this is fine. Uh, but let's say in your team somebody is using vs code or eclipse they might not use this so it is very important for us to speak uh, you know uh, to have a standard that is applicable for all the ides so in those cases what you can do once you set this i also exported this as a editor config file so editor config file is understandable by all the ides so you can edit it you know export this into an editor config uh, which i already done okay so let me cancel this. Once I edit, uh, you know, I this is the editor config file that I generated. So uh, each ID has their own way of applying this editor config. So this defines, let's say, in Java file, the intent size should be two, maximum line length should be two. So all these things are already populated. So all the IDs can understand this. If you are using IntelliJ, you can simply go to preferences and then enable this editor config support. Once you enable this, you can also see whatever the settings you have, it is overridden by the editor config file that you have at the root folder, right? So once you set this, uh, I already have this in place. So in my case, if I have to fix all these errors, I just have to right click, uh, reformat the code, uh, include all the subdirectories, files, optimize the imports, and then click on run. So once you, once you do this, it'll automatically run it. You can go here, 
and then check any of the classes. Now, instead of four, four lines, it's just two lines. And I am someone who use something like this. Okay, this is how I code, but this is not according to the standards. I may be wrong. So you can also format the code. So if you notice the shortcuts on the top, so you can also format based upon your needs, right? So if you notice, I'm again pressing this, it automatically formats the code. Whenever you want to format the code, you just format uh, using the shortcuts that you use. It will automatically format based on the coding uh, editor config file that is present here. So now once this is all done, I will try to run the Maven check style. Maybe this time I use the terminal, uh, Maven check style, colon check. So this should uh, fix all the issues. If there are a couple of things that are failing, so let's say the ceiling, it's it's 17 errors that are reported. Uh, okay, so uh, if you go here, this is not followed by white space. I don't know. So so this is a command. So this this is something that it cannot fix. So the ID is not smart enough to fix this. So in those cases, you can go there and then fix them manually. For example, uh, you can fix them like this, right? It's not preceded with white space. Um, and then here, um, you now these are some unique cases where you can go and fix them manually, right? This is possible for you. So I'm not fixing all of them for now, uh, time being. But if you again run these things, let's say for now there are 17 errors. I fixed three of them. Uh, so it should reduce the count. So the errors are very simple. You can fix them or you can suppress them. And then now if you notice there are 16. So I think uh, some of them got fixed, but still there are some of them, right? So it's not preceded with white space no white space before but i have a white space before this mm -hmm. uh, it has changed no white space white space before okay so this this basically gives you certain errors and then we can fix it um, but i think it should work i think it, it is it is the current way how we, how it should work okay so let it should work Okay, so so you can fix all of them, right? Uh, if you go to the pom.xml, once you fix all of these issues, okay, you can basically go to pom.xml. And uh, I also have added as something called as executions, which means instead of me going and running the command maven check style check, I want to include this as a part of maven execution phase that is validate, okay? Whenever the, so there are different life cycle for maven, okay? Clean, validate, compile, test, and all that. So when we normally run Maven clean uh, test, okay? So it will clean your stuff and then it will run the test uh, phase, which means it will also do the validation. It will also do the compilation. So in my case, I'm including this as a part of validate phase. So whenever you are running Maven test, it will also automatically include this, okay? And then uh, it will, this is, this is the triggering point. So whenever you execute Maven validate, or any phase that is greater than validate, it will execute this build. What what goal it will execute? So for plugins, or for your plugin, let's say for this check style plugin, there are different things that you can do. Check style aggregate, check style help. But what do you want to do? I want to run the check goal, not the other goals. So the goal is to run the check command, okay? So that's why I have configured like this. Once you do this, you can also include this as part of your uh, GitHub Actions workflow. So whenever there is a pull request that is created, opened or synchronized, I want to pull the project. I want to set up the Java 11 and I want to run Maven validate. So even you can run Maven test automatically. It will also include the uh, uh, check style checks. Okay. So once you do this, if you go to your uh, GitHub. Okay. So let me go to my GitHub. And then if you go to this master framework. Okay, you can you can go to this point and then fetch the values. Like for example, if you go here, and then if I try to, uh, in this case, I'm not creating a PR. I, I also have a main one trigger. So let me, let me try to run it. Okay, you can also see the older builds. Um, it should have failed because of the validation, right? It will say all this validation errors. Okay, there is some problem in loading this. I don't know, yeah. So if you notice all these errors, it is telling, hey, you are not followed by white space, if it's not having four indentation, whatever. So all these errors are being shown in the console. 
you can fix one by one so now there is no chance that you you have a poorly formatted code being pushed to your main branch so everybody uses the same standards okay they can type in whatever the way they want but they can format the code and push it to main so this way you can maintain the same coding standard uh, in your team right so that's very important uh, i will push this code to the github so that you can also have a use of this editor config the check style um, check style.xml and the suppression.xml you can make use of them right i see you guys in another great video until then tata bye bye from more than five guys